Avram Gonzalez here. I want to share with you something that I know is really messing a lot of people up because they've been taught the wrong thing from the beginning in terms of really being able to prioritize what's important in their life. But the problem isn't, isn't about the prioritizing part. The problem is in the way the priorities are actually created. And I, and I promise you, this will be a very different perspective than you've probably heard anywhere else. And the perspective is really this. You know, traditionally you're taught how to make your priorities by making a list and doing number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and so on and so forth. And what happens is, you know, you only have 24 hours in a day, right? Everybody has the same amount of time. But when you do your priorities this way, you go through priority number one, two, three, four, five, all the way down the list. But if you run out of time that day, whatever's at the bottom of the list gets left behind. It gets pushed under the, you know, under the rug and never to be seen again until hopefully tomorrow. And one of the things you have to get is that if you want to be successful, whatever that means to you, whether that means like having the happiness that you deserve, uh, having more money than you could ever spend, you know, or uh, traveling the world or, you know, creating, creating bountiful businesses, amazing relationships and et cetera, et cetera. You can't have priorities that work like that. Because here's the deal, you know, I got a couple priorities in my life, but I don't rank them because guess what? They are all the priority. They're the priority. So no matter how my day goes, I absolutely fit in the things that are important to me. You know, if it's too late at night and I'm getting tired, too bad, too bad. If I didn't get those things that I've made my priority, I have to put them in. I have to make them happen. Because that's the exact mindset or standpoint or whatever you want to call it that I've been coming from for the last three years that has created the kind of success in, in my business and in my relationships that I'm enjoying right now. You know, you don't just make $20,000 in a month when you don't have your priorities straight, you know, because a lot of people will make that $20,000 in a month or whatever that target is for them, but their relationships will suffer. You know, or they uh, don't get the exercise that they need. You know, their body goes on hold so that they can make all the work happen. And it's like, does that really work for you? You know, maybe family is a huge priority for you. And, you know, I have a lot of people that, that I work with on my team and stuff for our business that have families. And they say, well, my children come first. And that's, that's great. That's great. No way I'm going to knock that because your family is extremely important. The problem is, is that you've taken you out of the equation. You've taken you out of the equation. You know, what I was reminded of, and I get reminded again and again, when I, when I ride on the airplanes to go on trips like we went to Houston this last weekend, they always tell you when the oxygen mask drops down, put yours on first and then help the children or the adults that are acting like children <laughs> around you with their masks, right? They ask you to help you first because guess what? If you help them, but not you, what's going to happen? The entire airplane is going to be crashed out with people that didn't get the oxygen that they needed because they're trying to help somebody else. It's like, dude, you got to make you a priority. Don't take you out of the equation, right? Just because your family is important to you and all this other stuff is important to you doesn't mean that you, you should let other stuff slide. That's not how it works. Don't let it slide. Because here's the deal, you can truly have it all as long as you treat your life in a respect that you can have it all. The only time that sacrifice is actually real is when you make it real and when you push things to the side. Now, I'm not talking about the sacrifice that's like, hey, I'm going to be you know, working tonight to, to build my dreams and i got to put my friendships on hold. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. Because when I built my business and I built my Inspiraction video blog in 2010, guess what? I had three main priorities. I had my work, I had to pay the bills, right? I had my graduate degree that I was working on, so school was very important. And I had my friendships. Oh, my friendships. And I had Inspiraction, my video project. Those are like my three like top priorities that I, or four top, top priorities that I had. So the deal was, is if I wasn't getting enough time with friends, you know, I had to include my friendships somewhere else. So guess what? I made a lot of friends in grad school. And I spent time with them working on projects and so on and so forth. And I got my fill. 
with people, you know, or if I hadn't gotten a chance to work with anybody and I had inspiration up and I didn't have a lot of time for my friends, I would bring them into the fold of what I was doing so I could get my time. See, when everything becomes a priority, everything blends together. Some people find that uh, to be disconcerting. I find it to be exciting. You know, uh, you, you, your life isn't a separation between all these things. You don't live in boxes, do you? No. Because everything comes together. That's how, you know, I've lived a life that truly works for me. Because I don't try to separate things into boxes. Right? My priorities aren't separate. They're all in the same because they're part of what I'm creating collectively. And if one thing is off balance or one thing is not getting enough attention, guess what happens to me? Not good stuff. Right? I feel drained. I feel like something's off. I don't feel like things are uh, complete. I can't really have peace of mind. Sort of like when you're trying to juggle and you're juggling, juggling, juggling and you drop one of the balls, are you going to stop everything to pick up the one ball? Or are you going to keep juggling what you have left and then kind of try to work the other one back in? Because a lot of people just drop the ball and they'll pay attention to that and they drop all the other balls because they're paying attention to this one. Your priorities are the same way. Don't drop the balls. And if you do, get some help or find a way to work it back in. Because if you do, Congratulations. You've put on one of the most brilliant jumping acts of all history, you know, and that's what I do to create the success in my life that I've wanted. And I still continue to do that. I'm not there yet, you know. I still have priorities, and they're all on the same level. And I do them all the time. That's what you got to do if you want to get what you want to get. Because everybody else just lets the ball drop. Are you going to do that to you anymore? <laughs> so that's it for my message today on priorities. It's like, what if priorities aren't a numbered list? What if they're all a priority that deserves your time, attention, and nurturing? So if you got something special out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on your Facebook. And make sure to subscribe to my videos if you want to see more. Because I'm doing them like every day now. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you for watching my videos. And uh, if you got something special out of it, make sure you share it or comment below. Maybe you had an aha moment. I want to hear about it. All right? Bye for now from a very cloudy day in Boulder, Colorado. See you next time.